Hello trade pros. If you're a day trader, this video is for you. You know that day trading is reliant on making really fast decisions in the split of a moment. So in today's video, we're reviewing the Elgato Stream Deck, a fantastic device created for streamers, adapted by traders. And I'm gonna show you how I use this to day trade with Sierra Charts, why I chose this device over others, and how to configure your own. Plus show you a demonstration with a trade example. Let's dive right into this video. So first and foremost, the Elgato Stream Deck is around a $200 device. And it's different from other gaming keypads in one significant way. On the actual hotkey, you could see an image and you could create your own tile to remind you of what that hotkey does. Other gaming pads give you the ability to program your hotkeys, but you could quickly forget which one does what. And this is why I love the Elgato Stream Deck. This is the device in itself that comes in the box. It comes with a really neat stand to prevent it from sliding around and it's adjustable to give you the opportunity to either lay it flatter or more horizontal or completely flat if you prefer. The device itself is really thin, very lightweight, but extremely sturdy. And when it goes into the holder, and if you were to stand it up, it has these little rubber track pads at the bottom that prevent it from sliding around. The last thing you wanna do when you're trying to put it in a trade is hit the keypad and it moves back on you. <laughs> you want reliability from your technology. So after a lot of research, I settled on this Stream Deck. It comes in two different versions, the 15 keys and 31 key application. I chose the 15 keys because you could actually program one of them to toggle through and give you an unlimited amount of hotkeys, 15 at a time. I wanted to minimize the desk clutter and I wanted to use it solely for trading. If you plan to do other things like video editing or any other software that you utilize hotkeys, sound editing, whatever that might be, plus trading, you may want to get a larger version of this. However, I was fine with the 15 key. It ran me about $200 Canadian and it arrived the next day off of Amazon. After you watch the rest of this video, if you want to pick one of these up, see the link in the description and you can go straight to Amazon and get one delivered to your door. Now let's dive in and let's talk about this Elgato Stream Deck and how it applies to trading. I'm going to turn around the camera show you that how this works when it's hooked up to the computer and compare it with the DOM or price ladder to show you the advantages this gives you as a day trader. Let's jump into that now. So as we look at this device, I'm gonna to explain to you how I use it first and foremost. Number one thing you need to know is all these hotkeys are programmable on your computer. When it hooks up through USB, you interface with the software which allows you to assign shortcut keys into each one of these squares. When it's assigned, you can also put a tile and choose what is displayed. That way it's a good reminder of what hotkey you're actually using. It's important to mention that this stream deck is made for streaming. So a lot of the functionality in the software will help you go live on Twitter, Twitch, uh, YouTube, and many other streaming services. At the current moment, it's only natively configured to trade with one trading platform, and that's ProTrader Live. However, I use Sierra Charts, and so the way I've enabled this to work is I've configured it with a shortcut key. Step one, you have to go into Sierra Charts, enable your keyboard trading shortcuts, and then assign them on Sierra first before actually copying them onto the Stream Deck. This allows you to execute shortcut keys on Sierra Charts through the Stream Deck directly. The first screen that you see here is one of the functionalities that I absolutely love about this device and I didn't purchase it for this reason, but this was a welcome surprise. There's a new stock trading app on the Stream Deck software that allows you to show the quote of any stock symbol that you input. I've set up the top 10 keys to represent the 10 biggest stocks that move the S&P 500. Because I trade a lot of the ES futures, which is the S&P 500 contract, this is a really nice way to have a look at movers in the market. If I notice Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook, the five top tech stocks that account for almost 20% of entire market capitalization of the S&P. If I notice them moving upward and I'm looking to short, that's a cautionary sign. And if I'm looking to get long, I wanna see these stocks moving up. So this was a really fun feature that I discovered that I absolutely love about this. 
and made the purchase even more valuable. But even without this, the device is still solid. Once again, this is a stock app on Stream Deck and one of the most fantastic features of this setup. Now, as you can see here, I have a key that says Sierra. When I hit the Sierra key, I programmed it to bring me to the shortcuts that are applicable for my trading. The first thing you wanna do when you're testing this is to obviously put your account in SIM mode. You don't wanna be testing this live for the first time. I mapped out my shortcut keys to do the following. On the left, these three allow me to buy the market one tick below the bid, two ticks below the bid, and three ticks below the bid. So by clicking any one of these buttons once, I put a single contract bid on the ladder for the market to fill when it drops down to that price. I'll demonstrate this to you in a moment with the price ladder. On the next row here, you'll see O plus three. That stands for offer plus a tick value. O plus one is to put an order one tick above the current best offer, two ticks above the current best offer, and three ticks above the current best offer. So this lets me get in the market, this lets me get out of the market. This button here is programmed to cancel all my open orders, and the one below it is to close my trading position and then cancel the remaining orders on top of it. The, the button at the bottom centers my depth of market or price ladder. When it moves a lot, I wanna bring it back to center for correlation purposes. And then I have my trade activity log, my drawings, which I haven't configured fully. You can see it says pointer and square. And this is what the tiles look like before you set an image or a thumbnail for them. I'm gonna build this out at a later time, but for now I'm only focusing on the trading functionality. And because we do our trading webinars on Zoom, I also have a Zoom mute button and a Zoom share button here and a next to take me through the different tiles quickly and efficiently. But for the majority of trading day, I'm on this screen and I occasionally flip to see some stock correlations and flip through for the trades. So now let's take a moment and zoom out a little bit so you could see both the stream deck and the price ladder and show you the functionality in real time. So here is the stream deck below with the price ladder on Sierra charts directly above it. If you were to get into a trade without the stream deck, you would be looking to click three times on the price ladder where you wanna put your limit orders. However, that requires three separate clicks. And if you wanna build some size onto your trade and you wanna get six slots, you'd have to click six times in three different boxes. A lot of the times before that happens, the market has already moved, leaving you to miss the trade. So let's close out this and show you how it works with the Elgato Stream Deck. When you're on the price ladder and you have to be sure to click the actual ladder to activate these shortcut keys, if it was native to the platform, meaning that if Elgato uh, interfaced with Sierra Charts and I did talk to them, I saw some uh, commentary in their support boards, it's something they're working on. So in the future, there may be some faster, more efficient ways to do it. For now, before you click anything on the stream deck, you have to click the ladder to activate it. And now if you wanna put the three bids, look what happens if I do B minus one. One bid gets put, in, put on the ladder, and if I do B two and three, three bids are placed on the market. If I wanna cancel them very quickly, I hit cancel and we're done. If we're in a trade, and we'll hopefully get filled here on this little pullback, if you wanna get out of your position and cancel the remaining orders that are on the ladder, you would hit flatten and cancel, and that both closes the trade and cancels the remaining orders. Here's one of the biggest advantages. If I wanted to size up on the S&P 500 and trade six lots in one shot, it's a matter of just swiping this keypad. And once again, because it has rubber feet at the bottom of this, it doesn't slide around much. I'm applying a generally uh, decent amount of force. The monitors are shaking here, but the device is not. So the way I would get into this on six contracts is one swipe puts three contracts on the ladder. A second swipe now puts six. One thing you wanna notice here is that if the market moves and the price on the ladder moves, the B minus one becomes a different value. And so you wanna be cautious that on fast moving days, sometimes they won't be three at a time. And that's a limitation and something you must be aware of. But if you do it fast enough, you could really layer into six contracts by swiping it twice. You can now see I have three levels of two different contracts each and the ability to get into trades with efficiency and also speed. On the offer side, it works the same. If I swipe it down, I'm putting three offers above the best offer to sell when the price retraces to that level. 
And if I wanna add some more, I could continue to swipe it. So that's a nine lot trade. Once again, I'll just go ahead and cancel them. Now the functionality of this device is literally limited by your imagination. You can program just about anything on it. I have my trade activity log program to see how many trades I've made for the day, the total cost and commission, and also where I stand for the session. Uh, you could also do a number of other things that meet your productivity needs, but I absolutely love this for day trading. In the future, I plan to expand the functionality by putting buttons in to move my stops to break even, to trail my stops according to my strategy, and to also manipulate and move my take profits and scaling positions. So in the future, as I get some more experience with this, I'm definitely gonna make a follow-up video, but I can tell you this, from using this just a couple sessions, the only thing that I ask myself is, why didn't I purchase this thing sooner? Before I end the video, I do wanna give you a few cautionary tales about using this, who it's for, and how to get started with it. All right, so final thoughts. If you do plan to pick up one of these Elgato Stream Decks, and I highly recommend it, I've thoroughly enjoyed this device based on my very short use, it's changed my trading around. It's given me the confidence to be able to get into positions quickly and to get out of them and scratch my trades just as quick. And of those two, the second's more important. I value the ability for immediate execution and to shorten the cycle between thought and trade execution. Here are a few cautionary tales, however. If you're a new trader, I would caution you to not put market orders as a shortcut key on your stream deck. As you noticed when I was showing you my demonstration, I had buy limits and sell limits on the bid and offer, but I did not have market orders. The reason being is I don't wanna be able to get in too quickly. With limit orders, it gives you time to analyze the market and pick high probability, low risk entries according to your strategy. When you have a market order, it becomes too easy to trade for the only reason being emotionality, fear of missing out or avenging a losing trade. And those three habits are really gonna eat away at your account balance. So you don't wanna make those be able to be executed quicker. You wanna remove that from your stream deck. Focus on only limit orders and focus on high quality trade opportunities. Be very careful putting that market order button because it's too tempting and too easy to throw capital on the line. That's a really big cautionary tale I'd give you. If you have a bit of an impulsive personality or an impulsive experience with your trading, I would also caution you against using this device or using it sparingly because it could enable you to do the wrong behaviors at a much faster frequency. However, if you're a day trader looking to succeed or are already successful and want to grow your account balance and be quick at scaling up your trade size, I highly recommend this device and I absolutely love it. The only question I have for myself is, after using it for a while, once again, why didn't I buy this thing sooner? I'd always considered a hot keypad, but the ones that the gamers use. And what I didn't like about it is the fact that it couldn't change the hot keys and how they looked without buying cheesy stickers that would peel off and make the key sticky afterwards. So when I saw this device, I was really excited and I picked it up off of Amazon and I don't regret it at all. This has quickly become a, one of my most important tools in my trading setup. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please pop in the comment section what you'd like to learn about next and if you have any questions. Also hit the like button and subscribe for future videos and hit the notifications bell so you're alerted when new content comes up. That's it for today. You guys have a great trading day. Manage that risk and trade like a trade pro. Take care and goodbye. Hello and thank you for watching this video. I wanna take a moment to invite you to an exclusive online trading masterclass. In this event, you're gonna learn three key things to help take your trading to the next level. Number one, we're gonna teach you a complete price action strategy used by professional traders on a daily basis. Plus give you the checklist so you know how to check off each step to qualify the opportunities. Number two, we're gonna teach you how to use advanced order flow analytics to help you qualify high probability, low risk trade setups on a daily basis. Plus, we're gonna teach you how to use that order flow to disqualify the trades that you're used to taking that end up being stopped out. Number three, we're gonna show you how you can apply all of this information with a small account because you can start small and scale up. In fact, that's the only way to start and a lot of our traders are doing it in our community on a daily basis. This is an exclusive offer you can get online only at this event. I look forward to seeing you at this masterclass and teaching you these three secrets of highly profitable day trading. 
take care and have a great day.